Hello YouTube and welcome to Grown Forks Plays More Stationeers. We are continuing my last solo save. Uh, as you have seen, I have been playing a lot with uh, Max and I've been enjoying it a lot and then I decided, well, why not pick up my old save and also experiment things and learn stuff. Now, my air tank is critical or almost low. Air tank critical. Now it's critical. So I've decided to refill it, you know, traditional methods. Just stick in the tank oxygen in there and hopefully it will be fine. Perfect. That thing uh, out of the way, there are a lot of things that I had in mind and uh, some part of my recording got a little bit messed up due to me having the insert key for the recording. And insert key, as you know, is also for rotating objects in uh, script. So yes, that's why sometimes it happens uh, that I just skipped a beat. But uh, anyway, the first order of uh, business, I was looking for the kit Atmospherics and uh, I wasn't sure, so I'm actually doing this in the post recording and I will be doing a couple more episodes in post recording because that's the only way I can get the episodes out. So let me just see, aha, uh -huh, this is the filtration unit. Okay, so I'm looking for filtration, but I think it's kit Atmospherics. I have to double check. Uh, if I deconstruct it, it still says filtration. It doesn't say which kit it is. Okay. Okay, my power level is at 96%. And here I have a kit tank. Um, right. Do I have any kits here? No, just the active vent. I thought I made some. Okay, never mind. Let's see. Kit, 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 kit. Atmospherics. There it is. So what do I need? Iron, gold, and copper. All right. Well, that might be. We need to get some. Okay, so you have iron, gold, and whatever. So spit it out, Sonny. Right? Whew, silence. Uh, printer contents, iron slide, whatever. So. Wait a second. Ah, my stacker wasn't on. That's what explains it. Okay, spit them out, Sonny. Hey, 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 stacker. Oh, it went with stack size 5. Um, yeah. Well, that's clearly not the best setup, but okay, it doesn't matter. It still works, and it works rather well, so... Well, no, don't change it. What works? So... Iron ingots. I'll need some. Yes, please. Let's stick a couple at least. There we go. There we go. Come on. Shove them. One, two. Now, how about atmospherics? You have enough iron. You need copper. Okay. Iron. Uh, you'll need some more iron. So just put those in. Some more iron, just in case it's not enough, all right. Gold, yeah, I'm gonna just put everything in. But still, it's not gonna be enough because I think it needs... Well, steel, it doesn't need. Autolay typically needs steel for the steel frames that I am building a lot of them. Right, now, uh, let's see. Uh, atmospherics, you need copper. You have gold, you have everything, but you need copper. I have nickel here and I have alloys, but I don't have copper. Do I have copper here, perhaps? Oh, I do. 56 in total. Then let's take 50. Oh, and this doesn't look right. This is active vent guest capture system. I don't like it. Let me see first if we have... Uh, Hmm. You know, I know that and I'm perfectly aware that you can use also this, um, um, the furnace to smell things and it goes faster. And I'm going to use it in the future, but uh, right now I'm using arc furnace mainly because while it's smelting, I could do other things and it also helps to capture the gases from that. Yeah, I mean, furnace does that too, but um, I don't know. I think I'm even gonna automate the arc furnace <clears throat> with my belt leaving system in the future. 
So when I dump the belt, it's going to go automatically to the arc furnace. We will be just smelting stuff like there's no manana. That's the idea. Let's close the door, turn the active vent on, and then chug it, Sonny. I mean, it does pick up a little bit of trash in terms of the atmosphere, but uh, iron, gold. Oh, we have some gold here. That's definitely good. And ultimately, I'm guys, I have come with an idea how to actually make the, the locker you know, works in a work in a better way. So I'm definitely going to go and uh, uh, check that one as well. But um, this is something to be done in the stationary save that I'm doing with Max. So because here I'll need to rework just some things of it. And that's mainly the piping. It's highly inefficient and I'm not really liking what it is at the moment, but uh, Currently, I'm living with it, so we'll see how it will go. Okay, smelt it. Come on, Sonny. So, anytime when you're ready. Feel free to, please. Yes. That's a thing. Sure, sure. Come on. All right. So we've smelted the copper and we are sucking the dry, the pressure. Uh, copper, 50 grams. That should be enough compass door and let's take it in so atmospherics I have enough for two I think I'm gonna go, go and build two actually so stacker turn on size uh, stacker size to 200 maybe we should set it teeny weeny less say I don't know one two three four five let's say five atmospheric units I don't even know if they do stack so we'll see now this one guy I don't like how it looks I'm gonna do some upgrades here so I mean we have to Outputs and two inputs, it's not really that efficient and uh, we don't really need them. Oh, and two atmospheric kits, so apparently they do not stack. Okay, good to know. Um, wait. No, not leaving you, damn you. Ah, I'll leave them be for the time being until I fix this. Now. Let's see, what else do we need? I need the canister storage because that's something I want to fix. And it requires five iron. So I would need a little bit more iron from somewhere, hopefully. I'm gonna put one for the time being, so. Waste tank, caution. Ooh! And up, up, and away it goes. Interesting. Okay, where did you go, Sonny? Jetpack on. Huh, this is interesting. For some reason, it went bye bye. Well, never mind. Apparently, I'll need to deal with it a little bit later. So, uh, let's deconstruct these. And I've been thinking about this gas capture system room, and I think we should do it a little bit, you know, in a better way. So, that's why I'm thinking mainly about how to rework it uh, so it works a little bit better. And I think I have a couple of incremental suggestions 
for the time being uh, first one will be that I just fix a little bit piping here and maybe second or third one would be that I eventually even make it so that I don't need to enter the room to smelt stuff here that would be the future consideration so I just dump you know stuff and that's it I need a new battery because apparently I can no longer deconstruct stuff go figure mm, right so deconstruct active vent thank you you go here Then, um, let's, uh, we should deconstruct that one as well. Hold on. I need more pipes. Canister. Oh, there's a canister, which I have no idea what it is. I'm going to just leave it here. So atmospherics, one of them flew away when I was pressed it, so I think I I'd rather store the other one. I have no idea where that one went. Also the kit tank, I'm just gonna leave them be below, somewhere. Hmm. I'm still looking for that atmospherics kit, or that, uh... oh, wait. There it is. <laughs> you figured that it would end up somewhere. Right. Good. Uh, so, storage. And then some piping. Good. I have steel here. I have iron here. Okay, I'll need more iron. So, spit them out, Sonny. bit more iron and a bit more iron silver I should probably take it out I don't need it that much but I never seem to be doing it so I know uh, anyway I need to build another canister storage there we go and another one There we go, perfect. So that's two canister storage and then I should ultimately build more valves because valves all I will need. So yeah, keep chugging I think until you have about four-ish. Four or five should be the ticket, so we'll see. There we go, I think we can create one more. Before we are once again out of iron. Oh, there's more iron, isn't it? Yes, it is. Perfect, just work for one more, I think. So, canister storage. Another canister storage. Can I collect them? No? Oh, wonderful. Okay, then I put them like this, and then I need the valves. Spit them out, Sonny. Right, so we have four valves. Okay, and then we have to disassemble this particular frame section. Or um, this piping here, and a little bit of floor tiles and everything. To make it really nice and pretty, you know. So that's the idea. Anyway. However, we will be deconstructing the pipe first because this definitely doesn't look pretty. So let's see. Frame. Okay, I should ultimately remove the floor grating. 
Oh yeah, that's the crowbar. Forgot about that. There we go, and uh, let's store it. Floor grading, I mean, not the crowbar. Uh, should I remove this one as well? Uh, maybe not. Let's deconstruct this guy, and... Uh, and then... I'll uh, place the next active vent here, down rather, because I think it would be better that it's uh, on the floor facing the wall, to suck, be sucking out the air, something like, hold on, I think I need to remove, deconstruct the cable first section, because this is clearly not going to be as it is right now. There we go, and uh, a bit more. Right. I need uh, the pipe. Hold on. Active vent. Could you move a little bit? Well, let's see if we place it somewhat. Uh, I, I want to rotate it. And here's, guys, one of the places where when I started to rotate, I forgot about pressing the right button. So when I started to rotate, yeah, you can tell that things went wrong. Um, right. So, like I said, up front, I apologize if some sections would be missing. My recording software went stop, start, stop, start as I was rotating the objects, never understanding that that was uh, not what I was supposed to be doing. So, yeah. That's why I'm doing post commentary to in hide my ineptability to, you know, set a good valid recording key. Um, as opposed to the regular insert. So, yeah. This way it actually appears I know what I'm doing. <laughs> so, uh, let's uh, deconstruct the three-way corner. I don't think I will need the three-way corner here, actually. And uh, just for the record, if you notice the frame counter on the top, I was experimenting with disabling the shadows because I mean, I've been getting like 25 uh, or 20 FPS and I'm running, okay, a weaker CPU, it's a much older one, it's, uh, but still it's an i7, but the graphics card is 2080 RTX and getting 20 frames per second on that was disheartening to say the least. I mean, otherwise, except for this old CPU, my uh, machine is pretty beefy. So, yeah. And I think when I will be playing with uh, Max, I'll try to keep the shadows on for as long as possible, but when my frame starts to dip below 20-ish mark, I will just switch over to um, same setup as here. Do let me know in the comments below if having my shadows uh, disabled annoys you and because of the bad landscape or something. As you can see, you're running here, but the frame rate is much butter smooth, so it's much less choppy. So that's something that I thought would be worth the cost. And here I pressed insert to rotate and basically my recording software stopped recording. So if there's one or more two instance within the setup of this video. I do apologize for that. I've corrected it in the future videos though. All right, so uh, I've semi-constructed the pipe, you will be able to see it, it's not really a big deal. Then I realized that I'm connecting gas storage without the valves, and I need the valves first. Then I figured I'd just drop the tank connector, but instead I'm dropping the wrench. So like I said, guys, I'm using the editing tools to hide my ineptitude to do actually things the right way. Um, yeah, there we go. Valve, yes, that's what it's supposed to be. Another valve going up. And you will be seeing where I'm going with this. So. There we go. Tank storage. Come on. 
Rotate like you mean it, Sonny. Uh, gas tank storage. Come on. I need some more pipe, by the way. I was thinking first to place the canister storage, but uh, you cannot attach the canister storage directly to the valve. You need to have a pipe in between. So I wanted to test that theory because I wasn't sure. Like I said, I'm not really an expert when it comes to building with... And there we go. See? All good. So we will be rotating this the right way up, hopefully. And uh, yeah, it looks much better now. So tank fill. Yes. So let me do the same in the other one. go perfect and now I need to deconstruct the wire because I need to be crossing the electrical wire with the cable okay it's getting a little bit dark and fortunately my automated lighting system kicks in which is great loving it All right, and uh, build a cable this way. And now I'm gonna create a pipe going back to that canister over there. And I understand there, I could have done it in much less pipes, but uh, I wanted to, you know, have a feeling or an illusion of a pipe control panel here where I have various, you know, pipe thingies so I could, you know, press, release and whatnot. So now let's hook it up from behind. First we need to remove the floor grating or there we go and you just Stay here for the time being, please. I should really think about getting myself a portable light because this really doesn't make sense. So, where's my portable light? I just dump it here. Thank you. Change the battery. Look. All better. No need to work in the dark. Yes, Gromforks. Nice job. So, let's see how it, how does it look now. See? Much better. All right. Now, to be honest, I even prefer without the shadows. They were just annoying the crap out of me. So, you're going straight and you're going straight. I, I like to see what, what I'm working with. And I mean, yes, uh, light there is a restriction, does give a feeling of ambiance, but uh, I actually challenge that for practical reasons. Uh, right, so yeah, you go here and then you go straight. That's one connected. Then we have a second one, and this would be the exhaust pipe. So the goal is basically to be able to connect um, in different ways and various setups. Uh, and um, I'm pretty sure that a lot of you guys who are playing Station Years and who are kind of masters, as opposed to me being a complete noob, uh, will tell me, oh, Gromforks, you should have put this like that and that and or like that. So yeah, please do keep the comments coming. I appreciate it. And here my recording software again realize that it should stop so I've added the pipe valve and um, yeah now this is just the exhaust and as you can see the pressure gauge is going down so this was sort of a smelting test that I was thinking on running so um, also I wanted to build composite walls to make it look even prettier so composite wall composite wall and another composite wall
Then I'll need some plastic sheets. Do I have some? I have one. Hmm. I need three, I think, to finish off that composite wall. Plastic sheets and silicone. We could smelt some silicone. Why not? There we go. There's copper. So copper I'm going to shove in the electronics printer. It's the biggest chugger of copper that there is. I'm not using gas exhaust because here I didn't... Like I said, I have to get in and out and this is a little bit annoying, but might as well actually. Let's close the door. Now we will observe through the window until that is done. I'm still having enough alloy, or alloy ores and materials to be able to do things later on, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Overall, at some point, basically uh, working with station years became just too much work for me, so I've uh, put it on the side and played a little bit No Man's Sky, but uh, I feel now with No Man's Sky we're pretty good. I've come to a decent exploration level and I want to give the Station Years a further go because I think this game is it's amazing. I'm loving the challenging aspects of it. I'm loving the difficulty curve of it. I'm loving the, you know, the engineering part of it. I think it's very interesting, very uh, tough. But that's the appeal of it. If it's not tough, I'm not interested. Simple as that. So, right. Now, let's see. What do we need? Floor grading. I'll just make another one or two. What do you need? You need steel. I don't have steel here. I don't think I should have steel here, do I? Let's just spit out, Sonny. Maybe it was iron, I don't recall any longer. So, silver, silicone. I don't need silver, and I definitely... Ah, uh, yeah, not the silicone, I need it for plastic sheets. Duh! So, might as well do some plastic sheets. I think three should be enough. Even two could be enough. Oh, and it's done. Perfect. Open the door, stop this guy from doing and we have more silicone look wonderful you're done already perfect then you'll get a little bit more and i turn you off because i don't need you at the moment oh 50 grams of copper you do not say you have some copper you have no copper which means you're gonna get some copper and you shall spit out your plastic sheets thank you Now, let's build this composite wall. Oh, look at it. Much nicer. There we go. Beautiful. So, now... We enable the exhaust and just make sure that we have correctly exhausted the gases. Thank you. All right, that was in terms of updating this little bugger. So now it looks cool and I'm happy with the way it looks. Now I should start preparing for my next big project. Um, so let's see, stacker a little bit decrease and what do I need now? I want you to spit out your contents, son, because, yeah, right, so, steel, yes, I wanted some steel, I wanted some copper, uh, steel, yeah, I need to build this, uh, again, atmospherics, I need, I will be doing a monstrous uh, filtration system that will be 
six tanks, six filtration units, so each gas is gonna get uh, um, filtered separately. So yes, it will take me a little bit of a while, but I think it will overall look very cool. So that's the plan anyway. Let's see where we, if we succeed at getting there or not. Uh, stacker, decrease, come on, spit them out, Sonny. Eighty-four percent battery, which is, I think, it's pretty nice. I, I'm loving this display. I'm definitely gonna apply it in my ma uh, in my playthrough with Max, for sure, because this battery display is so useful. Okay, that should be enough, right? Floor grading, come on. One, ten, so eleven floor grading. Oh wait, they don't stack, you don't say. All right, whatever. Mm, so they stack at ten. Let's just put a little bit of floor grading here because it was annoying the hell out of me. go there we go it's much nicer to walk around when you have floor grading you don't get stopped you don't get you know so composite floor composite floor yeah look at that you still see the piping enough for it to be cool enough good so that's that's that area Done. Signed, sealed, delivered. Overall, I'm happy with the way it looks like. And now I should be doing some maintenance stuff. Insert canisters, insert canisters. Oh, oops, I'm a little bit on the hungry side, which means I will need to be dealing with my hydroponics soon. Okay. Opening the canister, 8 kPa. If I open it up, then there should be none. Good. So here where it's where I will be filling these canisters with gases. What gases exactly? I'm not yet sure of. But ultimately I could put here the oxygen. I could put in here also the fuel and whatnot. So for I think it's useful to have a room like this for, um, you know, maintenance purposes let's go back to making atmospherics oh I'm on iron I'm short and on copper I'm short so maybe I should smelt some more iron and copper but let's see this area behind I have cleared for me to make my filtration units here and here we will have like six tanks one for each gas then a parallel setup of filtration units, some monitoring systems to see the pressure in these guys, etc. So let's just quickly take a look how it was supposed to look. Small tanks, uh, they could be, you know, also put in the landscape, but um, I'd prefer to have them outside because we want to access their data ports and everything. Yeah, something like that. They should be around here at the last bar. And I'm deliberately leaving a little bit space between this one and the hydroponics because if I need to create junctions and all that jazz and the special valves and whatnot, I want to have plenty of room to be doing so, not to have everything cramped and then hoping for the best, you know. So atmospherics, pipe bender, I think we should be building more atmospherics. We said we need iron, gold we have plenty of, and copper. So iron and copper. Hmm. 
I also have only one bar and I'm already hungry, which means we should probably also do a little bit of farming in a hydroponics because I don't, I think that's my last cereal bar, to be honest. And true, I have um, sufficiently laid everything out, but then again, we'll see. Let's go mining a bit and I need a copper and iron. I will probably cut some portion of it out. I won't cut everything out because I think it's still good that you guys see me going around and, you know, doing the mining stuff. So, like, what do we have here? This is silver or... Yeah, silver. Nope, I don't need silver. What do we have here? Hmm. Nothing. <laughs> Interesting. I thought that this, would, this is where we had iron and gold. Okay, never mind that. Oh, wait, no, here's some gold. I know I have enough gold, so yeah. You know what, guys? I think I'm gonna go search, but I'm also. Oh, there's the iron. Right, so we're mining iron and copper. Guys, by the way, I'm gonna skip this section because I really feel it's like... Okay, I've been out and uh, I've uh, cut out the section because the episode is long enough. You don't really need to see me mining every single nook and cranny for everything. Um, by the way, I mean, I'm sorry for a bit longer episodes. I'm recording them offline and then cutting them out. Uh, my goal was to have them around... 45 minute length, but that then in some cases actually they end up being an hour and something so I Hope that they're still interesting and uh, as you can see the consequences of disabling the lighting is that this block terrain looks a little bit more choppier blockier and unrendered even let me know if that bothers you a great deal it doesn't bother me, but uh, I'd like to hear your opinion on it. Oh uranium it's still there and it's close to have it. That's why I'm lighting green during the night. Sun is setting, so I need to do some uh, maintenance. And by this, I've managed to gather a lot of wall ice. So I want to be populating my uh, water tank, the one that I have in the hydroponics bay, with a lot more water. And I'm going to use the furnace to smelt it. So let's put in the water filter here. Because once I start doing everything else and uh, smelting stuff and uh, constructing, I won't have much time, but I want to have crops grown by then. So, hydraulic pipe bender. And we said what? Uh, kit portable tank. Let's build another one. Oh, 20 iron. We have 50 iron here. All right. Spit them out, Sonny. Forty-five grams of iron. It said fifty over there. Interestingly enough. Okay, let's build a portable tank. We should only need one, hopefully. Seven grams of steel. All right. You close, please. Copper, steel, silver, silicone. Good. Oh, there we go. That's enough. And it spit out. Oh, that's the where other five grams of iron went. Okay. Well, now I get it. Sure. Let's see. Uh, portable tank. Perfect. Let's put it over here. Thank you. Then we want to wrench it down. I need for that. I need my tool belt. There we go.
Right, so furnace, there is some pressure still inside the furnace. So let's just open up the release valve and let some gases out. So there we go. Two eighty four K temperature and pressure is dropping. I mean, it won't get to nil because I'm not using the volume pump anyway, but there we go. Close up the valve. Right. Now we want the volume pump to be on. This is open, so we are actually sucking this the contents of this dry. And then we put in the ice and just it should melt but then again we need to just click activate the bananas out of it so i'm just going like dig 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 you know clicking it to ensure that this gets populated with some pressure of water and the volume pump is doing a good job of sucking that out Perfect. Good. Right. Now, that being said, what's the contents of the tank? The most is water, H2O. Perfect. Valve off, volume pump off. Okay, putting down the tablet. Now we'll wrench this away and let's just open up that valve to release the rest, if any. So now I need to get myself another tank, and that's that water tank from inside. I need that uh, before I start growing my crops. I'm guessing that I have enough, but you never know, so... Alright, pressurizing... Oh, it goes up to 101 kPa. But then when the door opens, it just goes like down. All right, so we have 27.6 degrees and the portable tank. Well, it's in the yellow, so I wouldn't say it's empty, but uh, it would be definitely good if we put out some more water inside for sure. So, let's unwrench it and then we will be uh, filling it out from the contents of that other tank. Like I mentioned, the, all those uh, solutions that we've built are more transitional ones until we get the proper, you know, gas refilling, recycling system. And I'm going to start uh, probably on next episode even to actually get those things in place. But now I'm doing preparatory work, so a little bit of maintenance, if you will. Refilling my water canisters, ref I'll probably be refilling also my uh, pollutant to make sure that while I'm constructing everything that my crops can grow. That's basically the reasoning behind it. There we go. All right, that's the water tank. And now I want to disconnect this guy. Connect it, okay drag thank you we're gonna go here there we go all right so then we drag this guy in as well you're gonna be wrenched down here. Connect. Thank you. Now, what I want to be doing is 3.54 megapascals. Decent. And you are 2.51 megapascals. Very nice. 
So if I turn on the pump, there we go, volume pump, there we go, air, air filtration unit, and now the pressure we should see decrease on the, on the yellow tank and increase on the well, on the other tank, so to say. And this process right now with this setup is a little bit wasteful because I'm throwing away everything that's not water. So I'm throwing away pollutants and all that, but that's gonna be fixed when we do the proper filtration system. And uh, yeah, so that's how it is at the moment. Waste tank has become critical, so I just wanted to basically... I mean, ultimately this could be also, the, for example, the CO2, where I could recycle even that, but at this point I'm just gonna open it up and then stick it back in, and look at that. Now it's all fixed. So right now we're doing a lot of shortcuts, but... Okay, 24 kilopascals, and pretty soon we're gonna get nothing and look at that uh, all tank all in the green that's what i like to see 64 come on drag it out sonny drag it out okay i think we're done here Let's unwrench you and unwrench you. Perfect. Oh, tools. Wait. Drag tank over here. I also noticed that it's not pure water and it has some, you know, impurities like pollutants and all that stuff. And I'm guessing that's because of the pipe work that I have. I'm not really sterilizing my. Oh, where did you go? Come back. Come back, you. No. And he says and throws a <laughs> wrench at it. Oh, dumbass. Come on. There you go. Portable tank. See? That's a thing. Now, I'm going to filter it once again. And then once again. So, like, three times just to be, you know, three times the charm, they say. So, filtration once again. On and chug it. You see, still some pollutants, some CO2, some O2, H2, nitrogen, N2O, I mean... And they're getting also inside. I don't know how. This was empty. Maybe it's the pipework. Could be. Could very well be, actually. But, um... Yeah. I would need another active vent to be able to suck everything out and I'm not really feeling it because this is a temporary solution anyway. This is just something quick and dirty to be able to do that but... Um, so I'm filtering it once again in the yellow tank and then again, I will be filtering it in the in the blue tank again. I think I might actually be skipping that part and come back to you when that is done. Now, uh, this is the final swap as we are doing it and then we will be taking the as we took out the pollutants and all that stuff because uh, yeah as you can see there was quite a bit of them inside so uh, that's why i'm actually preferring to filter out stuff uh, filter out junk and just make sure that we have the actual workable stuff i mean some of them are still there but in they're definitely in smaller quantities I mean, less impurity is the better, so... At least the content is 98% H2O, or at least that how it showed. Right, close it off, and now we will be dragging that tank back. 
I skip you some two minutes of tedium where I'm just swapping tanks, but we are not done yet. We have one more thing to filter out, which will of course be repeat the same process. Yay. And we're gonna do it with uh, the uh, pollutants. Yes, that's the word I was looking for. But first let's put in the tank inside and then at least we are done with the water. So water wise, we should be good enough for at least several crops. How much? I have no idea. I will have to figure it out. There we go. And let's mount it inside. Oops. Okay. Wrench it down. Okay, now that's mounted. Now I think we should probably do the same for our coolant gas, which is pollutant in ideal case. In theory, it could be other gases, but... Uh, okay. There we go. And let's pick up that guy. The sun has set again, exposing the wonderful, wonderful tiling structure of the nearby mountains. There is some light still. So, okay, we have a decent amount of pressure in terms of pollutant, but as always, we have some more gases that we have captured, so might as well do it, you know, The thing is, once I start working on this filtration system, it will take me a while to actually, you know, harvest the materials, prepare everything, and before I'm done, I don't want to be bothered by this uh, maintenance stuff. And then we're gonna make the system that automatically refills these tanks anyway, so all in all, it should be good. So, right now, pollutant, yes. That's the pollutant tank, you are gonna get disconnected. Thank you. And you're the empty tank that's gonna go as the new pollutant capture tank or gas capture tank. Well, this one doesn't seem that it has caught a lot anyway, but still some pollutant is better than no pollutant. go and remove and replace the water filtration because we're not filtering water this time we're filtering the pollutant so pollutant not the co2 pollutant thank you all right P pollutant inside valve is open filtration unit and chug it sunny Yeah, so some 300 kilopascals, it's not a lot, but still, it's better than nothing, for sure. It's uh, mainly CO2 as well, which makes sense because I'm opening and closing the doors willy-nilly. So that's something to be also considered. Okay, filtration unit off. Disconnect you, Sunny. And then we're gonna take you straight up. There we go, come on, chop chop. Perfect, and then we need to wrench you down here. There we go. 
Perfect. So we'll cycle to interior and I think this will be able for us to actually uh, wrap up a little bit and see how are we doing uh, pressure and everything wise and then we'll probably do planting more plants and etc etc so yeah now we're good so let's take the wheat and I think I should be planting that one right all right um yeah fine let's take care of that first and then uh, let's plant these guys there we go that's fine so we have three more wheat and some flour well we'll see what we can make out of it data disk and hopefully those will be growing later on. We have reagent processor and microwave, which we will we'll use in the next episode to well, hopefully make some chow. But I think, uh, guys, we are coming up to the end of this episode. Uh, so I think we should uh, probably wrap it up here. We've done a lot. And um, do let me know what you think. As always, you know, like if you like the episode. Hit subscribe for more Station Years contents. Let me know how you're enjoying it. And I will see you all in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. This is Grumfork signing off. And cut.